No, I'm able to run both of them. With the cycle time between the two, I can run back and forth and keep them both going. How many of you like math? Raise your hand. No, I'm putting my hand down too. I was not good at math, but how many of you like making money? Oh, we can raise our hands for that for sure, right? Well, oftentimes math and money go hand in hand. I'm with my buddy Kyle here today. We're standing in front of two new Matt Surrey machines, 2020, 2022. The Matt Surrey machine behind me from 2020 has three times the amount of hours on it as another five axis machine here that doesn't have the pallet change. To me, that is significant. Triple the time, and actually that machine came from 2018. So less time, triple the hours, and how do you do that? Pallet change, and what does that do? It makes you money, but on top of that, you can't run through the nights and through the weekends if you don't have the precision. And my buddy Kyle here is gonna share a little story with you about how many parts he was able to run simultaneously without ever needing to make an offset. Now that's precision. Kyle, let's talk a little bit about that story. How many parts did you run? We ran close to 10,000 parts without having to make any changes. And how tight were the tolerances on those 10,000 parts? Like five ten thousandths? No, of course not. It had to be tighter than that, right? Yeah, we were holding tens the whole wow. time. On 10,000 parts, no changes whatsoever on the offset. No, that is correct. That is incredible. So knowing that precision and knowing what goes into it, we're at JDM Machining today in Minnesota. This is a heartland of some of the medical stuff, but they're doing medical here, looking at aerospace, lots of molds, a job shop. And what does a job shop bring you as well? Well, oftentimes a high mix, low volume, which happens to be what you're working on a lot as well, isn't it, Kyle? Yeah, it works out good. We can have a couple pallets set up with uh, production side, and then I can have a couple pallets for prototyping things. So precision in these industries, as we're talking about the potentials of one-offs or two-offs or three-offs or a fire job coming in that you can insert right away and get it done and go right back to the regular stuff, how important is precision to you? Oh, it's everything. I mean, put a tool in there, it has to cut where it needs to. And since 2020, when you invested in the master behind us, to today, precision has been there the whole time? Absolutely. Something else I like about this story with Kyle, when we think about in the global market we're competing in right now, and the fact that we are all going through what we're categorizing as a labor shortage, the ability to do more with our employees, which ultimately allows them to make more as well, is to run multiple machines, right? So Kyle, are we running just this one machine? No, I'm able to run both of them. With the cycle time between the two, I can run back and forth and keep them both going. So you're running both these machines, both with pallet chains the entire day, and when the right jobs come in, through the nights and weekends as well, as determined by the jobs that come in. Yes, that's correct. When you run through the nights and weekends and you come in to do your day shift, do you have a concern that those parts haven't come out right? Or has the precision of the Mad Sir allowed you to have the confidence to go, oh, I don't have to worry about that. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave, enjoy my night, come in in the morning, and I got good parts. No, the Mad Sir has been good. We can trust it to make what we want. Well, Kyle, another thing we love to talk to the audience about because everyone out there, we have a story to share. We have a quality product. We have a machine that can make parts for us. Oftentimes, the conversation goes to service and support, and you guys work directly with productivity. Really the 800 pound giant here in Minnesota, right? And if I'm being fair, I drove here today from the capital, right? Yep. I flew in last night at midnight, got a late night, and I made a two and a half hour drive to get here, which means you must have a partner that if something goes wrong, we know Matt Sarah rarely breaks down, but me being a human, I make mistakes all the time. So if something goes wrong, that service and support is very much needed. And how has productivity been for you? Productivity has been great to get up here when we need. Uh, they're quick to respond. Um, they get up here, you know, early in the morning, unlike some other companies. And uh, yeah, yeah, nothing to complain about there. I like it when we have nothing to complain about because you know the story. If someone complains, they tell 10 people. If someone does a good job, they tell one person. So nothing to complain about here. The last thing I kind of want to bring to attention is for the audience out there who's watching, who's considering either their first five axis machine or their first 
palate change machine. Would you recommend a Matt Sura to them? Absolutely. Yes, it's not too much to say about it. It's, it works. It, and sometimes it works is all we actually need to know. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. Kyle, my friend, you are amazing. I appreciate you hopping on camera with me. Yeah. This productivity makes you money. And when we get down to price per part, when we think about the money that's being made at the end of the day, the investment upfront cost is very necessary. One of my good, good mentors and friends says, I'm too poor to buy cheap. I invest in the best, which allows me to make the most money. This is my friend, Kyle. This is JDM Machining here in Minnesota. If you're looking for a quality partner to manufacture your machine parts, this is an amazing job shop. Gone from about 1,200 square feet in 2000 to over 25,000 square feet now. And that is incredible. Starting with one machine and now jump to over 20 or 30 machines. So this is a group you want to look at, Kyle. I apologize for stealing some of that thunder because you are the man. And thank you one more time for being on camera with me. We'll do a microphone cheers to finish this off. Well done, sir. Thank you all for watching.